This summer, we're getting honest about summer blockbusters, past and present. This is Honest Trailers Blockbuster Summer. From a director at the height of his powers, the biggest movie star on the planet, and an untapped source material with an original premise, comes a cinematic faceplant into a steaming pile of horseshit. <coughs> Will Smith passed on the Matrix for this, you guys. Sorry. Wiki Wiki! Wild Wild West. Giddy up for the best movie where a former runaway slave turned cowboy teams up with an upper crust white guy who invents a gun that pops out of his sleeve as they face off against a flamboyant wealthy racist southern villain. Okay, second best, but what's easily the best sci-fi comedy of the 90s about a mad scientist in the old west whose base camp is a high-tech train. Oh, forgot about that one. Okay, well it's definitely the best Barry Sonnenfeld directed sci-fi comedy buddy movie where Will Smith teams up with an older white co-star to play government agents that ends with them fighting a giant arthropod that came out on July 4th weekend. Uh huh? Oh, come on! Beat Jim West and Artemis Gordon, the serious straight shooter and the wacky sidekick, but they never settle on which one is which. Will Smith shines as a guy in a cowboy stripper outfit who gives up on his accent halfway through the movie. That'd be an awful career decision, darling. We'd be getting there a lot faster if you weren't dragging that thing around. And Kevin Klein shines as the guy standing next to Will Smith. Yep, there he is. There he is again! Kevin, you are nailing this! They'll team up to take down the evil Dr. Loveless, a racist, fascist, mad scientist trying to overthrow the government. But that won't stop our heroes from really taking him to task for being disabled? Well, I can see where it'd be difficult for a man of your stature to keep in touch with even half the people you know. Crazy beard about your height, seen him? Actually, I was thinking maybe I'd stuff your little half a ass in one of these cannons and fertilize the landscape with you. That's all you're gonna roast him for? Well, when a fella comes back from the dead, I find that an occasion to stand up. We got a lovely little half a jail cell picked out for you. What, did a wheelchair kill your father or something? I guess when it comes right down to it, you just can't beat a good old-fashioned pair of legs. He wants to bring back slavery. Gonna ding him for that at all? Well, you know, beautiful women, they encourage you one minute and cut the legs out from under you the next. Nope, just the leg jokes. Okay, cool. I'm just as stumped as you are. And also, there's a lady. He's so impetuous. I know that seems tacked on, but so is she. He's so courageous. Oh, he's so graceful. Return to a time when America had to confront the most shameful issue of American history. Boners. Because this movie is so horny that when it's not showing you its horny gadgets, touch them. It's constantly trying to show you its dick. <laughs> its dick. <laughs> its diminishing returns on all the lazy sex jokes. By the way, boobies look great tonight, nice and perky. She's a breast of fresh air. Who wrote this? My creepy uncle? I have them square in my sights, sire. As do I, ammunition. The curvature of her buttocks and the swell of that magnificent bosom. So full, so sumptuous. Likes to poke around. She's a breath of fresh ass. Why is this movie so horny? <laughs> So saddle up for a film so disappointing that its only legacy is five Razzies. One great Kevin Smith anecdote. So anyway, I'm going to meet John Peters. He's like, I got some directives for you. He's got to fight a giant spider in the third act. And the accidental career resurgence of Keanu Reeves. But hey, at least it's the best Kevin Klein movie where he impersonates the president. <sighs> really? The best sci-fi and western with an anachronistic theme song? You gotta be kidding me. The best movie where Will Smith fights a redneck in the engine room of a mechanical spider? I learned that from a China man. Okay, this doesn't happen in Pursuit of Happiness or the Orc Cop movie? No? Whew, nailed it. Starring. Ah, hee haw. Da -na 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 -na. Inspect her gadgets. Damsel out of distress. Shouldn't this be a Spider Man villain? DJ Earhorn. <laughs> when you were partying, I study the blades. And Will Smith trying to make a line funnier by yelling it. This is not the way you transport Nitro! Stop the train! Stop spelling Gordon! Gordon, 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 Gordon! That is not how jokes work! <laughs> The not very good, the bad, and the somehow even worse.
You know, there's a little part of me wishes John Peters didn't get to force the giant spider into this movie and had to put it in one of his others, like A Star is Born. Thank you for watching this video, but did you know we also make other videos? With just one click, you could be watching one of those videos now. Awful Waffle Falafel, Waffle Falafel Awful, Falafel Awful Waffle. I love the buttery biscuit bays. Smokin'.